not just not a flexible neck. How flexible it is? Well, check this out. As you can see, your body is covered in the tentacle of the solar core. They will also use the booster to take the navigation of the tech vibrations from Ray, Ava, and others. And those small external ears give them a good sense of hearing for the mouth and a lot of sounds of the world. See what was left in the canvas can see what will walk in the world. They have a keen eye sight, but no color vision. As I said, in the wild, they have the world's most assured. Not rocking them, so we have boots. That's a preference for rocky beaches. They have an excellent climbing ability, so they can easily scale, rock here, lips. Now let's talk about their swimming abilities and it's the principle. They generally increase about 11 miles per hour, using the raw equipment of the run in the woods. While the back flippers are stretched out behind their bodies, functioning as runners for a spirit. And that's their normal swim. Nice. Easy. Thank you very much, Mr. Moore. But when chasing the prey or seeing the competitors, they can achieve a pretty good amount of 25 miles per hour. That's how I'm going to cross for the same very person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, folks, listen. Here's an interesting story about the sparks. Did you know that the U.S. Navy has trained a few of them to take part in their special operations? Now, that's right. They are able to break home in front of 20 minutes, and they can dive hundreds of feet. Abilities that even the best Navy diver would be in result. And since they cannot be detected by radar or water, they are taught to recognize the boy under the water lines. I think that's all we're good. Attention. Now let's watch. Hook, two, three, four. Hook, two, ready, sit. I think this, guys, this time, let's go over see my friends and he's a new. In the count of three, everybody, be silly and come with us, Lala, guys, okay? Kids, folks, are you ready? Now let's start counting. Louder. Seawall is also used to search and recover equipment from the water. Good job, Mr. Ball. You two, Sandra. After the sea lion show, we got to see the sea lions in their little habitat, and we saw Vincent, who was the male, and Iris, who is the female. After a while, Iris started swimming underwater, and we got to look at her in the underwater viewing area, and she was swimming towards the tank, and it was really, really cute and funny. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.